Good morning. Dwayne here, Dry Creek Ranger School again. Going to carry on part two about the previous video I did on cowboy hats. And I will, uh, I will put that link in the description of the previous video. Uh, so I talked about in the last video the where the cowboy hats, uh, how they're made, the, the felt ones. So we're talking about felt ones here. And I had a lot of questions about my hats, so we kind of just talked about my hats and the style and everything. And uh, so when we got done, uh, Mama said, why don't you do a video on hat care, on caring for the hat, and hat etiquette. Um, and how, and so I th that was a really good idea, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, things, things that can mess up your hat, how to take care of your hat. Um, and if you have a good quality hat and you take care of it, it'll last you for a lot of years. Um, it'll it, unless it gets knocked off in front of a whole bunch of uh, cattle and they trample over it or something like that. But but a good hat will last you for many many years if you take care of it. So, um, like a lot of other things, you want to keep it clean. Uh, not not. I ha it's not like leather, okay? But you, you can keep your hat, uh, kind of keep the dirt knocked out of it. And in that place where you buy your hat, uh, they'll sell these. It's they're, it's like plastic and it looks like a really coarse sponge, okay? And uh, so you can buy these and you take it and you just run it over your hat. If you come in and, and you want to take mom to town and you want to kind of clean the dust off your hat, you just take that sponge just kind of run it over the felt and uh, and it'll it'll pull that dirt out and clean it off okay now if you've got two or three different hats and different colors like you probably can't see that from here but I use this one on this black hat and it gets the black uh, in the sponge and so you don't want to go on a gray hat or a silver belly hat or a brown hat and use this same sponge by the way I will also tell you right here when you're going to buy a hat um, a lower quality hat, like a, a 4X or a 5X, even this 7X, this is a really good heavy working hat. This 7X on a black hat, it will bleed dye in heavy rain. I've never had one that wouldn't. That's one of the reasons why I went and got the natural beaver on this one here, because it's very, very rare that a black hat, regardless of the brand, doesn't matter the brand, I found it across, that a black cat will not, you get in a real heavy rain, you're gonna, the water that comes off of it is, is gonna be black. It's gonna bleed some of that dye. Um, so that's something to be aware of. Um, some things not to do with your hat, okay? Do not buy those plastic covers. They make a plastic covers with, with uh, elastic around the band that if you're going out in the rain, you put the plastic cover on your hat, uh, there's no point in that. That is a solution in search of a problem. Your hat is made to shed rain. That's what it's made for. And if you have a hat that is so delicate that it cannot take the rain, um, you should have spent more money, okay? It, and it's not good. The hat needs to breathe, and it's just, it's not, it's not necessary. It's not good. Okay, that's a waste. Um, you don't want your hat to get too hot. Now, what I mean by too hot, like if you come in, like I've got three hats and I'm in and out. You know, I come in for, for lunch. It's time for lunch. And so I come in, take, take my hat off. And I'm always looking for a place to put my hat. Okay. And so I tell you, a place that's really handy when you walk through the living room to put your hat is on top of a lamp. Because a lampshade comes up, you know, and so a lot of times your hat will just go right over that. But the problem with that is if you forget that your hat's hanging on that lampshade and somebody comes and turns that lamp on, that heat goes up in there. And that heat, it draws and constricts the felt and it's also really hard on the, the, leather, the leather hat band. So uh, leaving it in your truck on the dash on a really hot day, um, I've seen hats, people who had a hat but didn't really wear a hat that much, and so they took it off and put it in the, the back window of the car. Uh, I've seen hats just get wrecked like that. Excessive heat. Um, 
artificial heat is is damaging to your hat. You don't want to do that. When you come in and uh, you take your hat off, if you want to just lay your hat down, do the crown. Put it on the crown. Okay, don't put it on the brim. Uh, always, always set it on, on the crown. This is the crown. This is the brim. Okay, so always set your hat upside down on the crown. Just like that. All right, don't turn it over and set it like that. You can always tell a gun. So my, who was it? One of my kids, I think it was my daughter. Um, she went to church. She was in church and they go to a pretty good sized church in Idaho. And they had some young men come in and, and they were wearing, that. I think there were three or four of them and they were wearing cowboy hats. And, uh, you know, they kind of had the garb on and, and so she thought, I wonder if these guys are the real deal or not. So before the service started, she just kind of walked around and sidled up and she walked by and every one of them had their hat brimmed down, sitting down like that on the pew beside of them. And she walked away and said, nope, nope, they're just wearing the clothes. They're not, they're not real. And uh, she knew. So set your hat up. Okay. Set it where it's not going to get too hot. Hat etiquette. Hat etiquette is a little bit, um, that's a gray area in this day and age, okay? Uh, it's not like it used to be. Society changes. Society always changes, all right? Um, so where to take your hat off and uh, where to leave your hat on. Now, I don't wear my hat in the house except for when I'm making these videos. When the video's done, my hat comes off, all right? And uh, so, um, you should take your hat off in the house. Now, whether you take your hat off in a restaurant or not, that kind of, I don't. I don't take my hat off in a restaurant. Why not? Because restaurants do not provide uh, places for you to hang your hats safely. And uh, I'm not going to put my hat where somebody can sit on it, where a waitress can spill food on it or spill coffee on it or somebody can step on it or a little kid can come by. I won't. Safest place for my hat in public is on top of my head. All right? And is that a big deal? That hat right there cost me $850. You're darn right it's a big deal. Okay? Uh, so, yeah. So, I decide. Now, in church, uh, take my hat off in church. However, when we were in North Carolina, we went to a cowboy church. Cowboy church originally founded and started in rodeo arenas after rodeo. So it's part of the culture to wear the cowboy hat in the church, even when they move into buildings. Uh, so that's a, that's, you know, that's just, that's, that's your call. Um, you take your hat off, take your hat off if the national anthem is playing. And you take your hat off if somebody's praying. I know I don't care if you're religious or not. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's just respect. Okay, if somebody's praying, take your hat off. The cowboy life is a life about respect, not just respect for yourself, but respect for others. Uh, take your hat off when you're in your mama's house. Take your hat off when the national anthem is playing. Take your hat off when somebody's praying. Okay. And then if, if you're somewhere where it, it just seems to be um, where they're not comfortable with it, whatever, take it off. Uh, tip your hat to a lady. Yeah, it's old-fashioned, but I tell you what, they eat it up. All right? I mean, they love it. Listen, okay, I'm going to lose some subscribers here. All right? I'm probably going to offend somebody, and I, I don't want to. All right? But there are great swathing chunks of the feminist movement today that's bunk, okay? Women still like to be treated like a lady, and they should be treated like a lady. Um, I'm going to go off on a tangent chase a rabbit here. Do I think that women are equal to men? No. Now hold it. Hold it. Don't turn me off and don't flame me. I think women are special. Any monkey can do what most men can do. But a woman, 
a woman, to be a wife, to be a mother, to be what a woman is. Men can't do that. Women, women, the first woman was given as a very special gift direct from God, if you believe the Bible at all. Uh, women are special. They're not men's equal. They're better than men. Okay? And we need to treat them like the treasure that they are. Honey, when I open the door for you, I don't open the door for you because I think you're weak and you can't open the door. I open the door for you because I think you're a treasure worth treating with respect. When I offer you my seat on a bus or at an airport, I don't do that because I think you're weak, because I, I think you're somehow less than me. I do that because I think you're a treasure and you're something to be treated with respect and with honor. Because I think women are wonderful. Okay? So, fellas, anyhow, that didn't cost you anything extra. That <clears throat> Whatever you paid for this video, that was thrown in for free. Okay? Hat etiquette. Take care of your hat. Again, like I said with the saddles, save your money and buy the best that you can afford. It'll last you a whole lot longer. It's better to buy one 20X hat to last you 10 years than it is to buy a cheaper 4X hat and have to replace it every two years. In the end, it's more economical, okay? So I know this was kind of a rambling video, but I hope it helped you a little bit. I hope you like it. Hope I didn't offend anybody or make anybody angry out there. But if I did, you were looking for something to be angry at. And so uh, I can't help you, all right? So I hope you have a good day. Like the video, uh, click like if you would. Subscribe if you haven't, click that bell. Uh, and, uh, and we'll catch you next time.